All right, reaction number three, recipe number three. Okay, this one is called uh, acid catalyzed hydration. Uh, hydration means hydrate mean water, not like hydro. Hydro mean hydrogen, like hydro halogenation. That's hydrogen. Uh, hydration is hydrate mean water. Like when you ask, uh, do you stay hydrate? So that's hydrate water. Okay, um, acid catalyzed. So we use acid, sulfuric acid, as a catalyst of this reaction. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have you guess the mechanism of this reaction. All right, so. And do this reaction. So again, McCormick called same person, right? So do this reaction, and he found that um, adding water, the OH, the hydroxyl group, going to go to the carbon in the middle, the most substitute carbon, and the hydrogen going to go on to the least substitute carbon. Look at that. Use a uh, cat and uh, sulfuric acid. This mean it means catalytic amount, just a little, add a little, maybe like a couple drops of it. Right in the, in the reaction flask, and uh, the solvent is water. The whole thing is water in here. Okay, we got the uh, uh, sulfuric acid is an acid in water. Basically, this is in, in a solution. Anyway, so uh, OH goes in here, hydrogen goes in here. We don't observe the other way around. All right, and so this evidence number one. What mechanism is that? Hmm, sound familiar? All right, keep going. So we, uh, he, Makonikov, also found out that if the this carbon here become more substitute right add more carbon on it add more carbon onto it the reaction rate of acid catalyzed hydration is faster this is hydronium which is carbox uh the um uh, carboxylic acid uh sulfuric acid in water this acid in here right so more carbon on here more substitute carbon more substitute carbon uh this reaction goes faster what's going on in there well, how come what's the mechanism um so we propose that this reaction passed through a carbocation intermediate, just like what you saw earlier. All right, let's take a look at the mechanism. So, <clears throat> all right, we have an alkene. Add the sulfuric acid as a catalytic amount, just a little, and um, just make the solution acidic. Okay. All right, so make a solution acidic, and uh, an acid in water is a hydronium ion. Right. So make sure you know that uh, if you, if you add a sulfuric acid into water, uh, hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, was it nitric acid, whatever strong acid in water, water will react with this acid first. Sulfuric acid not gonna stay as sulfuric acid. We donate its pro, uh, proton become a sulf, uh, sulf, hydrogen sulfate. Okay, and water receive proton become hydronium ion. So sulfuric acid is a strong acid. You guys know nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid. They do the same thing. Add in water, they dissociate right away. And the only acid, the most acidic uh, compound in water is actually the hydronium ion. Okay, that's the reason why I don't use sulfuric acid here. I use a uh, hydronium ion instead because there's no sulfuric acid left. Sulfuric acid, most of them already become uh, hydrogen sulfate, which is a weak acid. All right. All right. So the most acidic uh, um, species in an aqueous solution is uh, hydronium ion. So use hydronium ion. Uh, <clears throat> nucleophilic attack. So you get uh, so this carbon here got uh, gets the hydrogen. This carbon this carbon become um, uh, carbocation. All right. Don't do it the other way around because if you do that, it's this process is much slower than the top one because you get uh, an unstable uh, carbocation. All right. All right. So you're going to get carbocation right here, just like we saw up in a hydrohalogenation and uh, water attack. <clears throat> uh, you get this species, which is acidic, look just like um, hydronium ion. Right. So water around uh, water around it will go grab a proton and you get an alcohol and an, an acid back. Right. And this acid is a catalyst. If you still remember uh, a catalyst never get consumed in the reaction, it goes in at the beginning, it comes out at the end and then go to the next catalytic cycle. That's the reason why we just use catalytic amount of sulfuric acid. You don't need a lot of it. It's never get consumed. Right? It's come out right here. So get, in, get into the reaction, catalyze reaction, speed up the reaction and then it comes out and go to the next catalytic cycle. Basically, it get re, uh, recycled. All right. All right, um, the um, application or like how we uh, do this. So the addition and elimination of water. So this addition we just saw earlier uh, to make an alcohol. So we use the loose sulfuric acid or catalytic amount, just a little amount of sulfuric acid. All right. Uh, my point is you can do the the first one is addition of water. 
going backward, if you go backward, we remove water or elimination from the alkene. The addition process and elimination process are in equilibrium. Okay, they are in equilibrium. If let's say if you want to make uh, an alcohol, um, the one that you add uh, water in and get an alcohol, if you want to go to the right, use Le Chatelier principle that's in Gen Chem 2, right? Add a lot of water. If you add a lot of reactant, the equilibrium will shift to the right, shift to the product. You're going to get this compound. But if you have this compound and you want to go back to an alkene, what do we do? We, we remove water. We remove water from uh, the, the, the system. Uh, so that's the reason why if you go back, we use concentrated sulfuric acid or less water condition. So the pool equilibrium backward, uh, take water out, equilibrium goes back, shift backward. All right. Um, in a chem, uh, an organic, organic chemistry lab, you guys don't do it, but normally a uh, uh, student that I, uh, I usually teach, they have to go to the lab and do it. So they will accomplish this transformation, go to the, to the right and go back to the left uh, by uh, doing distillation. Okay, I'll actually go back here real quick. So if you want to, let's say, want to go to the right and make an alcohol from an alkene, so this is what they're going to do. So we have a reaction flask. They set up distillation, right? You're going to add sulfuric acid, just a little bit, solvent, which is in water, um, a lot of water, and an alkene product, oh, so an alkene starting material, all right? Reaction will go, and we're going to heat it up. The product will vaporize, also add them together, heat it up, and then just let it stir. All right, so do, uh, perform the reaction. And uh, <clears throat> as, uh, once the product is formed, the product usually have low boiling point. It will vaporize. Come up here, come up here, come up here, come up here. Hit the thermometer, this thermometer. You can actually read the boiling point of the product. And you know, oh, the product is coming out, okay? And go pass through a condenser where you have a water in, water out, keep the system cold. This vapor, this hot vapor will condense and then we receive it in a reaction flask. That's how we do it. All right. Okay. All right. Another uh, the same same segment. Well, that took a turn. Let's see the conversation right here. All right. So, um, so I know it's two in the morning, but I just want to say I love you, babe. Hello. Oh, I suppose so. If you text me once more, I will kill you. It's two in the morning. Of course, I'm not gonna text you back. Oh, and I love you too. <laughs> well, that took a turn. All right, let's uh, draw some mechanism together on the next video. Okay.